hello guys welcome to my youtube video once again in this video i'm going to be showing you how i designed this flyer in photoshop of course with few steps which i'll be guiding you along if you don't mind let's get started so the first thing i'm going to do here is i'm going to click on new and i can either use inches or pixels but with this one i'm going to use inches i'm going to use five by five right so you can convert that also when using pixels and just click on create like this so the first thing i like to do is i'll go back to our adjustment layer and i'm going to select the solid color just to add a little bit of color flare to the background and all of that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to choose this color so you can use the color code that i used here it's just basically black right there's nothing too much going on Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to arrive my resource file and bring in my first image. Then again, the resource file is in the description of this video. So do well to click on the link. It takes you to where to download the resource file. So I'm just going to enlarge this. And note that I'm actually resizing from the edges like this. Right? So I think it's fine here. I'm going to click enter like this. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use adjustment layer which is the exposure and i'm going to turn this down a bit i'm going back and i'm going to apply hue and saturation i'm going to click on colorize and i'm going to bump it up onto this point 29 and i'm going to increase my i think um let me adjust this so i'm going to be using 34 and my exposure i'm just going to bring it down a bit and with somewhere i'm comfortable with i think i'm okay with this at this point so having done this, I'm just going over to my source file. I'm going to bring in the next thing, which is this torn paper. And of course, I'm going to resize it just like this, right? Um, I'm going to flip it horizontally, right click and click on flip horizontally. And I'm just going to make it bigger a little bit. It is important that you note the placement of my layers so you know the elements you are bringing in at what time and where it's going to be, guys. So I'm going to double click on this or right click and choose blending option when I'm inside here and I'm just I'm just going to select color overlay, right? So this is the color I use. Let me double click so you see this is the color code. So you can copy this color code and use for yours too. I'm just going to click OK like this. Okay, right? So that is the second step. Now for the third step, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my source file. I'm going to bring this image inside of this nice steering this interior feel of the car right so what i'm going to do basically is let me zoom out to my scroll wheel i'm just going to move this upwards while i resize it like this i'm going to take it up just a little bit and um, make it smaller what well, having done this i'm going to go over to my mask i'm going to mask it and select my brush my brush selected make sure your foreground color is set to black and I'm using a flow of 24 as you can see up there my flow is set to 24 okay so what the brush selected what I'm going to do basically is I'm just going to rub off on the edges like this and the sides like this make sure you follow the settings of my brush my flow is set to 24 so I haven't done this I'm just going to move this in place well and voila so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going over to my resource file. I'm going to bring in the car. And I'm just going to position this nicely in place here like this. And let me move this. Okay. I'm just going to put it here like this. So I have a nice angle. And I'm just going to tone down the opacity for the wheel itself. So I'm going to be using 58. But feel free to use 60 if you want to depending on your choice but I don't want the attention to totally be on the wheel itself that's why I put it at that value so I'm just gonna speed this up while I bring in my text and everything I used in this design for text
okay so i'm done with that i'm just going to select the car ctrl t while i increase the size like this and click enter just like this i'm going to go over to the text that i just typed out i'm going to select the first one and the last one i'm going to group all of them right and i'm going to move them up like this right always make sure you group your layers so that you don't have your workspace looking lengthy and you have so many layers all around you right great so um, just move this up a bit like this the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to select this half tone right i'm going to drag this and move this in place make it smaller and uh, position this well and click enter i'm just going to right click on it and select blend option or double click right blending option under blend option i'm going to select color overlay right opacity i'm just going to bring this down a bit 32 as you can see the effect right just like this i'm going to move it upwards and i'm just going to take it behind the text itself right so just drag and drop so it's currently behind the car itself right so i'm just going to bring in next image which is this one right you can see what i place it inside so i'm just going to drag it all the way up in layers and i'm going to position it here like this right good i'm just going to move this up a little bit like this i'm going to select create a new layer and i'm just going to go over my brush flow is set to 25 i'm going to change the blend mode to screen like this i'm going to create another new layer again i'm going to change the color this time or oh, let me use this the same color i'm using the same color and i'm just going to increase my flow to 62 i'm going to apply it i'm going to change the blend mode this time to linear dodge add just like this so that's how i created the lighting effect guys okay so having done that i'm just going to go over to create a snapshot ctrl shift alt e to create a snapshot of all the layers right so while i'm here i'm just going to make a few changes can follow my settings right so i'm just going to bump this up like this i'm going to reduce the shadows so i have more depth in the blacks i'm going to increase the texture like this all these things goes a long way to making sure your composition comes out well or your flyers comes out well at the end of the day all right guys that's the end of this video if you've liked it kindly click on subscribe like the video and turn on post notifications so you miss any of videos i'm dropping anytime from now i'll see you in the next video